so they say there's no cooling inside the fans are running but outside the unit was not running so I took this wire off, 240 volts, the primary wire off the transformer to reset the power. The unit comes back on and there is a flashing here, freeze protection or freeze protect disabled. Why is it saying this? It also says bad sensor. Well, there's only two sensors here and they're up here and one is the outdoor ambient temperature sensor and the EC1 sensor. So what are those? Well, this EC1 sensor goes down here, and then this sensor is the outdoor ambient sensor, and it's right here. So what do we do? We go over here in the schematic, and we find them. On the board, it's two black wires for the outdoor ambient temperature sensor, and it says it's two black wires, but we know it's not for the ST1, okay? So EC1 right there outdoor ambient temperature let's go down here and see what it says st1 sensor suction line temperature sensor so that's what that is all right so we'll find it let's test it first switch the meter to ohms check the outdoor ambient sensor first that's how we're going to check it. it's 10 kilo ohm sensor it's reading 7.9 this is how we're going to check this sensor right here and it says 432. That seems a little odd. Hmm. It's hard to see that temperature sensor. Let me show you where it's at. See that right there, those two orange wires? And then it goes to a black coated wiring. That sensor is right there on the suction line. And we're gonna have to replace that. All right, a lot easier to see that sensor right here. All right, see that? That's where the old sensor is. Strapped to the suction line. Removed the old sensor. Those are the two orange wires that connected to this old sensor here. And I got the new sensor, right? Look at the old, new sensor, that's the part number there. And we're gonna take our meter and test the old sensor and the new sensor and see what the difference is before we install it. All right, we're measuring ohms. We got 0.597 on the old sensor. Let's check the new sensor. New sensor is measuring 7.6. So we definitely had a bad sensor. Let's hook it up and then uh, see if the unit's uh, fault goes away and if it operates correctly. This right here is the clip that holds the sensor. And you can see that this piece right here slides up in here and then this clip clips on the line new sensor connected let me get a wire tie to place on there make sure i get some insulation too and uh wire tie it secure it let's turn it back on i'm gonna get some of these leaves out of here too clean all this up all right sensors in place i turned it around so you could see it see it sticking out there and it's connected oh yeah that was all that was wrong let's see if it starts well now it says locked out it says idle and then it will say locked out due to high pressure so I'm gonna turn it back on and see what happens may need to reset it see locked out due to high pressure and we checked the pressure the pressure was good so let me reset it. Power's gone. Plug the contactor back up. 240 volt. Johnson Controls. JCI. It's going to do a little countdown from 120 to zero, and then it'll start up. Start up. Delay. And it's working. And before, after it started up, it would always have a sensor failed right there, like you saw in the first of the video. Now it's not there. We no longer have the issue and we have fixed this equipment for now until something else happens copper size is inch and an eighth and it looks like five eighths this is a yc090 that means it's a seven and a half ton 90,000 btus divided by 12 is seven and a half 
410A and it is a three phase unit. So it's got three legs of power, 230 volt, three phase. Check this out, typed in the search bar YC090, found the manual, downloaded the manual and you can see right here, PCO90, it's a 7.5 ton, refrigerant 410A. Holding charge, one pound. Operating charge with 410A, 16 pounds. Then we go down here, it's got one single scroll compressor. System capacity is seven and a half tons. That suction line was inch and an eighth. That liquid line was five eighths. All this information right here at your fingertips, literally by just typing in the first two or three numbers and letters of that model and serial number, it tells you the motor horsepower for those outdoor fan motors is third horsepower and uh, number of speeds fins is all this information it's all there just uh, look and uh, try to find it and you will be successful I promise if you try hope you enjoyed today's video leave me a comment below if you have a question let me know if you learned anything what you learned down there hit the like button subscribe and hit that bell ding so you know what I'm doing if you want tech support, you want help, click that join button. Become a member. Let me know in the comments. Say, I joined. I'll send you my email. And then if you want to be a level four member and get my phone number, or you want consultation, you want one day a week where I can work with you one-on-one, -on -one, level five, that's for you. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.